So the show is brilliant, but I have to say, as a wo- as a woman, is uh, difficult to watch actually because your character is so well written and well played, obviously. So the first question is obviously this is a fictional show, but the story is tragically true. So I want to ask you how much did you know about the story? How much did you have to learn? And how much maybe was difficult for you, you know, to learn about the story? Um, I I didn't know much. I knew little bits. I've seen Philomena. I had heard a few years ago about um, Tomb, which is where lots of remains of bodies of children were found in a septic tank at the end at one of this mother and baby home. So I remember reading that in the news. And I so I knew little bits, but I didn't know in any in any great detail. So when this came through, I thought, oh wow, this is uh yeah, powerful and important. And as I did more research and started reading more about it and started working on it, I thought, God, it's it's horrifying, absolutely horrifying. And such recent history. I mean, really, the last mm-hmm. one closed in 98. So I I couldn't, I was amazed that this was going on when I was 16 years old, you know, when I yeah. could have easily gone into one of these places if I was in Ireland. Um, so I thought it was really important to get out there as a story. And as I learned more, I thought even more so. Um, yeah, and it was it was hard to learn about. Like you said, it's you feel huge injustice about what's happened and what's gone on. And also that they're still in the process of reconciling with that yes. history. You know, it's still those survivors are now in their 40, well, 50s, 40s, 60s, 70s. You know, they're still alive and they're still having to deal with the shame and Ah, the slight denial that's going on. You know, it's they're in a process of reconciliation in Ireland, but haven't quite got there yet. And obviously you play Lorna. She's a really complex character, I can say. I can, you know, see myself in her every now and then, even if she's angry, if she's crying. So I want to ask you which aspect was maybe the most challenging for you to play about her. I'll tell you what was hardest to play, weirdly. Mm. The fact that there's always two things going on with her. Like the one that she might have killed someone, the guilt of yeah. potentially killing someone, and then the fact that she might have found out about her child. So I actually found it very hard to play those at the same time, you know, and we had to almost play a scene one way and then play the next scene the other way. I just, I couldn't work those two things at the same time. It felt like I had to, um, I don't know, uh, compartmentalize those two things as a character as well. Um, and I also thought the genre stuff was quite hard because we're floating between different genres. There's moments when I'm with the women where it feels like social realism, <laughs> you know, real honest chats about what had gone on and real drama. And then you're in moments where it's like gothic horror. <laughs> and, in, and then you're in moments where it's a crime thriller. So I was like, God, I have to sort of straddle, I have to create a character that can straddle these worlds in a believable way and have fun in some of those worlds and then come back to the reality and the tragedy of what's really happened. So that was quite quite a challenge, actually. Um, but it was liberating in some ways because you're just like, right, I'll just mm-hmm. go with whatever the scene demands in this moment and find something in there. And as a, as a result, it creates a really kind of complex, interesting persona yeah and there is something for me that the show and your character you of course portrayed really well and i want to ask you something about this because um all the women in the show are kind of still patronized you know by the society and lorna in particular because even at the beginning of the show everyone is like yeah she's she's just weird let them let her be uh, but she's broken, obviously. She's dealing with uh, her stuff. So I want to ask you something about this because it's really real, this aspect of the show. I kind of feel myself in it. So Well, I sort of think, like, she, you know, what appealed to me about her is that she was an outsider, right? That she was considered an outsider. She was told she was mad. She's always been told that her experience or what she did or what happened to her was either her fault or she's mad to think that that happened. Like she had her experience has been denied. So if you're told you're mad, if you're told what you believe was to be true was either is wrong or um, you know, or you're you're wrong, you were the person that was at fault for it, then 
you probably will go mad. And so there's a sort of sense that I think the idea of madness is quite interesting in how society de decides someone is mad because they're outside or they're... I mean, Sinead O'Connor is a case in point, and we have Sinead put her music to the end of our show. But she, when she was standing up to things about the church, and she'd gone through one of these homes, she was told she was mad. Everyone said, oh, she's just crazy. Yeah, yeah. She's a crazy woman. So let's just put her in that box and not listen to her and deny her experience. So I think that can be deeply sort of disturbing for an individual and disorientating. Um, what I found though was that when Lorna is said, when people tell she's mad, it gives her a sense of, in a way, she's got a sense of power because she can do what the fuck she likes because yeah. she's considered mad anyway. So as soon as she starts to understand that and by episode four, you see her go, okay, I'm mad. And then she yep. goes on a mission. She becomes stronger in herself and gains agency and starts fighting. And in a way, she's got nothing to lose. So I thought as an outsider, you can have power as well. Um, so I thought that was an interesting way to explore her. <laughs>